for the last few years, our news organization has been covering what can only be described as a war on women. Biological males are pretending to be females, and these men are invading female safe spaces. This includes female sports ranging from volleyball to rugby, as well, men pretending to be women are gaining access to female shelters and even female prisons. This has collectively led to real women and girls being emotionally abused, physically injured. And my question, sir, is should you form the next federal government, will you make female safe spaces safe again by introducing legislation that bans so-called transgender women from participating in female sports and getting access into female shelters and female prisons? Female spaces should be exclusively for females, uh, not for biological males. Um, the you ask if I introduce legislation on that. A lot of the spaces you described are provincially and municipally controlled. So it is unclear what federal legislation would have, what would reach federal legislation would have to change them. But obviously, uh, female sports, female change rooms, female bathrooms should be for females, not for biological males. Pierre Poilievre's response underscores the importance of prioritizing individual safety particularly for women and men, in designated spaces like sports arenas, shelters, and prisons. Emphasizing the classification of gender based on biology, quality of advocates. For maintaining this distinction, especially within specific areas, the mention of real women and girls experiencing emotional abuse and physical challenges prompts reflection on the impact of societal shifts encouraging consideration of anxiety. Amid social change, acknowledging the limitations of federal law and state and local government-controlled spaces is seen as recognizing the principle of limited government intervention, aligning with democratic values. Overall, the response reflects a stance against perceived intrusions, aiming to defend exclusive spaces, uphold existing norms, and resist challenges to fundamental social structures.